Okay, let me get this straight. You are Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's right, man. Okay, so this is the second coming. <laughs> Not exactly, but that's a good one. Not exactly? I ask you a question and you answer with not exactly. What exactly do you mean by not exactly? No. No, my son. I, I, I'm just still a little bit groggy, that's all. Hold that thought for a little bit. I want to show you something. Mother Mary, Mother of God, holy shit. Stop praying, man. I didn't mean to freak you out, you know what I'm saying? I got a little surprise in here. Do you mind? No, but how? How did you, I mean, all that blood? It's a trade secret. If I tell you, I have to kill you. Care for some? No, no thank you. <laughs> but why me? Why here? Why now? Why? Calm down, man, calm down. It's simple, I'm tired of running. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. Coffee does that to me. Running from who? <laughs> Not from who, from what? And the answer to that, my friend, is the past, man. The past. Yes, Lucy. Darling, you go back to bed. I'll wake you when it's time for church. Okay, Uncle Joe. Bye, Mr. Henley. That's a lovely child, Monsignor. It's Father Joseph, and this conversation is over. These are sacred grounds. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Look, you invited me in, man. Or don't you know that little bit about vampire lore, huh? Nah, I'm just bullshitting you on that one, too. <laughs> Bram Stoker did wonders for our kind, man. They added that whole mystique and everything. Look at us. Did you know there's actually clubs and societies that would love a visit like this? A chance to become one of the children of the night? <laughs> it shows how truly pathetic you people are. That's enough. You leave now or I'm calling the police.